It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here. Shaq's here. Kenny's here. Welcome to this edition of 2K Sports. Tonight, it'll be the New York Knicks going up against the Celtics out in Boston. Well, for Boston, they've played well of late, winning five of their last six games. Tonight, an opportunity to continue that trend. And tonight, Shaq, we're going to see Gordon Hayward, one of the most versatile, talented swing men in the league. First, Ernie, let's give this guy a, a, a hand clap. All right. A great hand clap. Yes. How about a round of applause? Yes, a round, round of, of applause. applause. There you go. You know, great to see him back in action. Takes a lot of courage to overcome that kind of injury. Yes, he's tireless worker, and I love his game. He makes improvements to his game every single year. So this will be a lot of fun. And now it's time for tip-off. Let's send it to Kevin Harlan with the call. from Boston for an Eastern Conference contest with the Celtics. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan with Chris Webber and Greg Anthony, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Only one game away from New York here. The Knicks will be back home for the next one. And Porzingis, guys, out with the injury. He will be missed. Yeah, and as bad as it turned out to be, it, it tells you a little bit about his toughness, that, that when they took him to the locker room after he got hurt, he wanted to come back out and get back on the court. Yeah, and it looked like it might be a lot worse than it is. The news is a relief to him and the team. Great to hear he's avoided something more serious. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. Nilakina and Lee are in the backcourt. Von Lave's out there with Thomas. And it's Cantor in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Horford, no luck. New York with the ball. Lee outside. This season, right now in the beginning stages, but some teams, Chris, already exceeding expectations. How do they keep that momentum? How do they keep things rolling along in that way? 
Uh, you, you have to do that in the locker room and in practice. Mm. You have to make sure that you stick to the coach's rules and roles. And you have to remember your success was built and predicated upon doing it the right way. And so how do you make sure you keep that focus, and pay attention to details, and especially the little things, and stick with the bases? Ah, good stuff. And so it's the Knicks getting on the board first. And on the way from Irving for three, it's hauled in by Thomas. We play just over a minute here in the first. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to go on Gordon Hayward. Actually, Chris, one of the shorter teams last season, the Celtics made up for it with excellent athleticism and length, wingspan. Oh, yeah, you think about it, Jalen Brown measured 6'6 six, six in height, but had over a seven foot wingspan. Rozier is smart. They, they, you know, they might not be the tallest guys in the world, but man, they play big. That's good from Thomas. So he gets them both. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. And here's Boston. Four-point game. They beat the Knicks during their last encounter in New York. And always tough on the road, but that attack mindset that they brought offensively, I really felt like that set them apart. Well, also great execution. Let's not forget about that. Being active gets you only so far if you lack the discipline. Neely Keenan kicks to Cantor. Out to Lee. Shot clock at six. And the three off target. Boston's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. 11 feet away. And Tatum with the basket on the assist by Irving. Attacking the painted area. That's where Tatum can use his height and length most effectively. Here's Nilakina. His last outing, 16 points for him to the inside. Here's Cantor. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Oh, that's a nice look. Recognizing he had the opening to make the entry pass. The Celtics have gone two for four from the field so far today. Outside Irving. Tatum passes to Irving. Outside Tatum from deep. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Uh, this young man has worked on his form. Tatum was a decent outside shooter in college, but lethal here as a pro. Here's Nilakina. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. Some tough D in the paint. Getting between him and the bucket and stopping the easy dudes. And stolen by Vonley. Hayward against Thomas. Vonley kicks to Nilakina. Now, here's Cantor. D right on him. No good from Lee. The Celtics have gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Here's Tatum. Misses, and he wants that one back. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Neely Kina passes to Von Ley, and there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That is his first foul of the game. <laughs> Lee against Smart. He's just scored his first basket with that shot, making him one for four. The ball handling of Lee is simply sensational. This guy really makes defenders look lost when they try to guard him. Horford kicks to Tatum. Oh, 
unloads from 13. They get it back. A nice shot by Irving. Irving's got five points so far. Love how Irving mixes it up outside, inside. He's effective at playing to his strengths. There's the pass to Vonley. Outside for Thomas. Pass to Nilakina. Six to shoot. Puts it up. And Boston with the rebound. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. Just a terrific effort off the bench. Guys came in, they seemed fresh, and they all contributed. Well, and they played more than just a supporting role. I mean, without their points, it would have been tough to get that role win. Good work there as it goes. His footwork and the ability to finish with both hands, these are the qualities that make Hayward a tough guard. Next trail by four. Well, for so long, so many were wondering what Kyrie was thinking when he left Cleveland. What is clear now, though, is that Irving doesn't think about it and has flourished on his own. It seems that he really did just need his own team to become the player he's become. And for Irving, he has let more of his personality come out on and off the floor, Greg, now that he has his own team. Yeah, it really does feel like we are watching a new chapter in Irving's development as a player. Still has the great shot and handles that make him so deadly with the ball. And, and, and just visually, Shoot while two. the leadership is also evolving, he just seems more in control of his game and, and even more lethal as a player. And that one falls for Tatum. And of course, the Celtics traded back from number one to number three to draft Tatum in terms of readiness and absolute steal. He's perfect from the line this time. See, Webb, what a rookie year it was for Tatum. Never hit a wall. He only got better as time went on. Now, I remember doing his games in college. I mean, it was the same thing that happened then. Second half of the season was stronger than the first. He has a maturity beyond his years, both mentally and physically. Oh, the float is a tough shot, even when you're that close to the bucket. Back to Irving, and they're moving it up. Here's Neela Kina. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Not afraid to get roughed up a little inside. Neela Kina got to appreciate the fearless attitude. The Knicks have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. He's off on the first. And the French native has already made an impact. Nila Kina is a young guard who plays with confidence and purpose. Terry Rozier's checked in for Kyrie Irving. And then for New York, Mario Hazonia comes in for Thomas. And Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for Courtney Lee. And the second free throw, good. And here is Rozier against Charlotte. He was really on his game. Celtics passing it around. Connects from three-point range. Hayward's got his second bucket of the night. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Back to Canner. Makes it off the glass. Cantor's got six. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for the Celtics. They lead by four. Pass to Horford. Here's Rozier. He's covered by Cantor. And it's good for two. Oh, man. How about that vision from Horford? I mean, it's all about hitting the open man. High efficiency offense right there. And now here's his own yuck. Defended by Hayward. Nila Kina can't hit. Celtics leading by six. 
now the feed to Hayward. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Two shots. And wow. seeing Gordon Hayward out there, you have to be glad that he was able to recover the way he has from that devastating injury on opening night last season. And I remember your call of the moment, Kevin. The, the whole NBA world just was shocked on that opening night. Uh, as bad as it looked, it, it seemed to be clean enough to where Hayward won't have any lasting issues with it. The rehab obviously wasn't easy, and, and I'm sure Hayward is just thankful that he's been able to come back completely two. from that injury. That free throw good from Hayward. And every season, I mean, Hayward plays with so much confidence these days. And some changes here for the Celtics. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Horford. And Marcus Morris subbed in for Tatum. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Burks has checked in. Hayward hits them both. Yeah, and Gordon Hayward is a player who's always found a way to add something to his game. Now he feels comfortable going at a defense either inside or out. Great strength when attacking the rim and can shrug off those defenders. Now here's Cantor. He has six. Burke kicks to Vonley. All alone. And the Knicks good for two. Not sure how he gets that pass off. I thought for sure he was going to pull the trigger. Boston leading by six. And Greg, you mentioned Hayward's strength. That and his ball fakes seem to be not as recognized as they should be. Yeah, I think Hayward has one of the better pump fakes in our league. Great deception with inside-out dribbles to create space. And the things he does well aren't immediately apparent, but Hayward's terrific fundamentals are what make him a great scorer. Knicks trail by six. Hardaway with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And the foul on Marcus Smart. That is his first foul of the game. Williams, he's checked in for Boston. And now, here's Hazonia, covered by Morris. Just five on the clock. And Vonley has it in the corner. And it's good, assisting on the play with Hardaway. Now it's just a three-point Celtic lead. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Just too physical, smart, shedding the defense and finishing strong. For New York, they've gone an even 50% from the field. They are 7 of 14 for the game. Cantor kicks to Vonley. Passes it to Hardaway. And again, New York with the triple. And that's what you give up when you don't fight over the screen. A lot of times your defense is your offense. Your offense is your defense. This is poor decision making right here. You can't let them have that shot. Also might have been a lack of effort. And here is Rozier. After Tim Hardaway made that last three-pointer. Goes back up. His first shot is a miss. 0 for 1 to start the contest. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin. Particularly here to start the game. Williams with the steal. Now, here's Rogier. Stats on him. He's averaging nine points a game. Williams finds Smart. And the foul called on Tim Hardaway Jr. That's his first foul. Here's Williams. No points in the game yet for him. Nice ball movement by Boston. Shot clock at six. From about 16, nice shot by Smart. And the Celtics lead by four. Oh, the mid-range game, a lost art. Nice bucket by Smart. Outside Hardaway. Shoots the three. The shot, no good. And it's Boston the other way. Morris looking over the floor. And stolen by Vonley. Now the pass to Hazania. 
Kicks it to Cantor. He dishes it to Hardaway. And that's his second foul already, and that's going to force him to tone down his aggression defensively. And Tim Hardaway Jr. returning to New York with a four-year, $71 million contract that surprised many. He's got to shoot better than he did last season to be worth that kind of money. First one falls for him. And Hardaway, of course, the son of former All-Star point guard Tim Hardaway, who played with the Warriors in the Heat. Yeah, I mean, Hardaway Jr., much more comfortable, I think, off the ball in terms of spotting up and attacking. Definitely has worked on his ball handling and creating a little bit more of his own offense. Boston making a switch here. Hayward's checked in. When it came to a big man's responsibilities, you helped pave the way for so much change in that regard. But what are some of the big C-Web now doing that weren't done when you were playing? I don't know, Kevin, if it was anything that they weren't doing, but it's the freedom to do it with consistency. So even if we talk about a Larry Bird, who only could shoot maybe a three and a half a game. Let's just round it up to two threes a game. Well, now, what if Larry Bird had the freedom to shoot ten threes a game like guys do now? And so I think that the game has caught up with players' skill set as opposed to the skill set catching up with players' game. So no longer are you held to being a big man. Now you can be a basketball player. And being a basketball player for Dirk Nowitzki is much better than him being a big man. Dirk Nowitzki being a basketball player that he is means that he is a threat a wherever Take he is on the floor because he's shots. not just limited to a two-foot box space there in the post. And for defenders like myself, I would much rather Dirk Nowitzki have to stay two feet in the post than to be able to shoot the ball whenever, wherever he wanted to. Because I tell you what, now you got a problem because he can knock it down from anywhere and everywhere that he wants to. The Celtics making a switch here. Tice has checked in. And so he's able to get one of two. And see, well, what a force Terry Rozier has become. Finally got that chance to play last year and made the most of it. Oh, well, look, we all knew he had the athleticism, but what we didn't know is how he reacted to a ton of minutes being played. And obviously, he stepped up. Players respect him. He's a guy you want on your side. And so it's Boston with it. The Knicks making the shot. Six to shoot. is good off the back rim and in. Rozier's got five points so far. And it's just been an avalanche of points here in the early going. Yeah, both teams have come out with solid offensive strategies. And then, of course, guys are finishing. And Kent are able to finish. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Rozier with the ball. Now defended by Moutier. No problems knocking that one down. Morris has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Now, here's Moutier. Rogier defending. Now, Moutier. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Got a piece of it. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Celtics lead by four. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. Al Horford provided some insight on why he decided to sign with the Boston Celtics. What put me over the, the edge to make this switch is just uh, the depth that I saw with this team. It's an up-and-coming young team that we have a chance to be good for many, many years, and it was something I wanted to be a part of.
Playing for a historic franchise like the Boston Celtics, Greg, they've got, of course, the great fan support, great history. Something Horford relishes. A, a great choice. A team with depth and youth. They have a chance to be good for a long time. Celtics foul. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And what do you guys think about Boston here in this one? They've gotten that perimeter game going in that first, and for me, that was the difference. Well, and not only in terms of building the lead, but now the defense has to extend itself. That leads to other opportunities. Hayward and Morris, your small and power forwards. Kyrie Irving is out there with Rozier, and it's Tice in at the center, locking down the middle. That's the Boston Five. Hayward against Hardaway. Now here's Moutier. Guarded closely. Three on the clock. Here's Baker. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And taking a look at some numbers here for Kyrie Irving. A wonderful string of games he's put together here lately. Fourth in scoring. Sixth in assists. And he's a flamethrower from distance. Top ten in the league and three-point shooting. And as you said, one of the NBA's most potent scorers. Always up to the challenge. His top five ranking has him right there with the elite. Morris passes to Rozier. And stolen by Vonley. That's good from Moutier on the assist by Thomas. Moutier's got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Knicks. Irving looking over the floor. Hardaway with the steal. And then Hardaway with the dunk. And guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. Uh, yeah, guys, I mean, in a close game like this, that can really get a team rolling. Now, here is Irving. He picked up 36 points in the last one against the Hornets in Charlotte. And that didn't come at the cost of his defense. In fact, I think it fed his defense. Yeah, four steals in that game. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, guys, Al Horford is a multiple all-star. And if you count his stats, you miss what he brings to the table. When you factor in his passing, his defense, his efficiency, he does all the things that help you win. Coach Brad Stevens said, Al Horford averaging 15 points a game for you is like other guys averaging 27. Kevin? The definition of a pro. Terrific guy. Thank you, D.A. And here's Von Ley after Gordon Hayward hitting the three. Hardaway. It's rebounded by Tice. I'm not sure if the D bothered him or if he just lost concentration on that one, but that's a layup he should convert. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Irving can't hit. He had one three-pointer in the first, but still searching for that second. Down low. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Thomas got his second basket of the night. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Irving kicks to Tice. No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. That's miss number three for him. Now two for five from the floor. Feeds it to Thomas. And Boston with the rebound. And after this game wraps up, they're off to Atlanta where they'll take on the Hawks. That's game one of a three-game road trip. Hayward dishes to Irving. Jacks up a three. That ball is in the basket. Now he's shot six and made three of them. Such a smooth operator. I mean, Irving knows he has the green light to let it fly from deep. Moutier looking around. Here's Von Ley. He's got five. Just five to shoot. Here's Baker. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And, of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. 
Al Horford. He's checked in for Marcus Morris. And it's Jason Tatum in for Gordon Hayward. And that one misses. See, Webb, there are guys that bring it every night. It, it doesn't depend on a game or a teammate or a, or a play or whatever. Every night they bring it out. Great consistency. I know you have a lot of players that you admire in that regard. Definitely. I admire their pride, their heart, or their attention to detail, passion for the game, the Kawhi Leonard's, the Chris Balls, uh, LeBron James, of course, uh, Kevin Durant. So many players put their heart on the line every night. You love seeing it. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Celtics trail by three. Irving passes to Tice. To the paint. And Irving gets it to go on the assist by Tatum. Irving's got five points now in the quarter. The ability to work angles and convert with either hand. I mean, Irving with the beautiful move there. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here, fresh from a win against Portland. You know what? It's a fine line between attacking but yet staying under control, and they did, and that's why they shot such a high percentage. Well, they worked through their plays until they found some decent looks, and then they did a great job finishing. Moutier finds Thomas. Pass to Vonley, and the dunk by Vonley. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run for him there. Well, I know he's not the number one priority for the defense, but they still got to give him some attention, guys. Here's Tatum. The Knicks making the shot. Here's Horford. And again, it's Boston converting. Well, what you get with Horford is a guy who reads defense as well. I mean, he takes what's there. Moutier kicks to Thomas. And here's Vonley. He has seven. On the wing, Lee, guarded by Tatum. Thomas gets a wide-open look, and the Knicks hit again from deep. And that's one way to extend the lead. Continue to light it up from long range. They have all the confidence in the world right now from the three-point line. Now, here is Irving. He's got 10, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. He's one of today's great clutch performers. That's, that's Kyrie Irving. Look, think about this. In 2016, Game 7 of the Finals, he hit the pivotal three with just 53 seconds left. And that's just the most famous of his end-of-game accomplishments. Shooting two. And the first one drops. The challenge with defending Kyrie, Chris, is how to prevent him from hitting those game-changing shots. Yeah, how, how do you check Uncle Drew? He has the range from deep. There may not be a better ball handler in the game, and he's a tremendous finisher in the paint. He's a triple threat. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Aaron Baines comes in for Daniel Tice, and Smart subbed in for Terry Rozier. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Well, the former number one overall pick. Tremendous success early in his career. Irving continues to find ways to improve. Baines with the block. But they'll get another chance. Here's Cantor. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. Cantor's got the lead up to four now for New York. And it's Irving with the ball for Boston. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting shot. Gentlemen. And we'll examine here how the distribution has been between three-pointers and two-pointers tonight for the Celtics. They are shooting the lights out from beyond on really limited attempts, so you, you have to think they ought to feed those hot hands on the perimeter and see if they can keep shots. this thing going. Two shot. And he makes the first. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. Both free throws good from Kyrie Irving. 
Oh, finally, he's getting himself to the line. He's gotten much more aggressive as the game is going on. Burke looking over the floor. Thomas passes to Hazania and finish off by Hazania. And a sturdy screen set for him that time. And he doesn't fool around just straight to the rim for the finish. No way for his man to get around that one. That's, that's for sure. And that's a play they'll run over and over, fellas, as long as he keeps working. His three-point game is heating up. That's his second three of the quarter, third overall. With some arc. Cantor finds his own yacht. Rebounded by Smart. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Count it. Oh, nice look there from Smart. Finding the open man. New York trailing. Burke with it. He had 13 points in the win against Portland. And now, here's Hazonia, guarded by Smart. Cantor kicks to Thomas. And Ennis Cantor picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Williams, he's checked in for Al Horford. Frank Neely Keen is checked in for the Knicks. Boston's gone 7 of 10 shooting from three-point land tonight. Excellent numbers from outside. Here's Irving. Buries it down low. Irving's got 19 points. They've leaned on him tonight, and he's delivered with some great shooting. Here's Nilakina. He kicks it to Cantor. Dishes it to Burke. They need this. Pass to Hazania. Baines with the block. It's deflected and stolen by Burke. Pass to Nilekina. Back to Burke. Some nice passing by New York here. To the inside. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Nilekina. Fleshing out his offensive game over time, Nilekina wants to keep improving in the paint. Smart passes to Irving. He hits the back iron and time sinks out, the out. shot. He's got 21. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. New York calls timeout. And really, whether you're up or down, it's a game of adjustments. Well, yeah, he might have seen something he wants to exploit, but we'll see what they run coming out of this. And some of these distributors have been very hot from beyond the arc this season. The best three-point shooting point guards in the league. Kyrie Irving is second. You know, if there are no other options available, any of these guys can just step back and knock down a triple. Great backup plan for any point guard to have. And as well as they shoot the three, I don't think it needs to be the backup plan. It could be a, a plan A. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. For New York, they have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. And, and when you got a team percentage of about 81%, uh, you're going to be one of the elites in this league. Anyway, talk about a coach who gets the most out of his guys and what he has to work with. I mean, none other than Brad Stevens. I mean, he's done it for years. First in college, now on the greatest level. Now, here is Irving. 21 points in the game. Basket good. He's taking over the game. Their lead's going to get even bigger if he keeps this up. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. One shot.
Knicks trail by three. And now here's Hazonia. He's got five, and Thomas has it in the corner to the middle. Here's Cantor. Can't cash in from close range. Now that's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You got to protect the rim. Well, that takes physical ability, good timing. Those two things that he possessed. Now here's Tatum. He's coming off a 10-point game against Charlotte. Here's Nilakina, guarded by Smart. Now Burke, inside. Thomas down low, covered by Irving. That one's in there. The Boston lead is cut down to just one on the bucket from Thomas. Well, if you thought the D was going to tighten up on him here in the second quarter, think again. Here's Irving. The putback. It's good on the putback. And the Celtics lead by three. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Here's Thomas. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Morris has checked in for the Celtics. Austin's gone three of four with the long-range bombs here in the second quarter. Irving kicks to Morris. Over his own young. Morris, no good. Yeah, that's just poor decision-making. He's got to be better in those situations. Well, I'd love to hear his explanation to Coach right there. I mean, that should be an interesting conversation. Here's Thomas. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Thomas got 16 points. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Irving from long range. Knicks with the rebound. Cantor's got six rebounds here tonight. Burt finds his own yacht. Stolen by Smart. Right side Irving. And there's the pass to Morris. Again, the miss by the Celtics. New York's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Here's Neela Kina. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. And now a four-point Knicks lead. Boston's gone seven of 11 from deep tonight, using the three-pointer to their advantage. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. A nice shot by Irving. Lighting up the scoreboard all night. I mean, Irving's showing the versatility and his persistence. Now, here's Burke. He's covered by Irving. Burke kicks to Cantor. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. It's the Knicks. They're up by one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Brad Stevens. Coach, what did you think of your team's energy in the first half? I think the energy's fine. I thought we did look a little gassed at the end of that first stint for some of our starters, but I thought for the most part it was good. Thanks very much, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings, friends and neighbors. One half down, another half to go. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. For the Knicks, the first quarter was pretty even. They did jump out to a lead in the opening period, but four points was the biggest it got. In the second quarter, they erased what had been a fairly big deficit at one point, and now here they are sitting on a one-point halftime lead. 
Taking a look at the Knicks, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, there was one pleasant surprise, and that was the bench. They gave them a big lift. Those guys came into the game, they did all the dirty work, and they scored baskets. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Celtics? Well, they had a strong perimeter game. See, Ernie, when this team executes from long range, those weapons spread out of defense. Coming out of the second half, if those shooters are hot, they got a great chance to take control of this game. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. Never a shortage of motion on Soldiers Field Road as we welcome you back to historic Boston. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game. He has been everywhere. Yeah, so far they haven't found an answer for him. A, a scoring machine here in that first half. Oh, well, he's a tricky cover. He does a good job of sensing the defense, making the right move at the right time. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. The Knicks with the lead. On the court for the Knicks. Nilakina and Lee are in the backcourt. Vance Thomas out there with Von. And it's Cantor in at the center. And the foul on Marcus Smart. And that'll be his third foul so far. Austin on D. Here's Von Lay. And it's good for two. Vonley's got the first points of the second half up on the board for New York. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. And there's the foul. It'll go on Frank Nilikina. That is his first foul of the game. On defense, the Knicks. It's a three-point game. Smart passes to Hayward. Six on the shot clock. Horford dishes to Smart. Shot from free throw range. And he hits the jumper for two. Smart's got six points. And he should thank the team for those two points. Nobody paid much attention to him on that play. And no doubt that Marcus Smart is one of the better defenders at his position. Quick feet are complemented by that strong frame, and he just digs in and, and against would-be scorers and just never lets them get comfortable. So good shooting off the dribble. For Tatum, it's a comfortable, familiar scenario. Lee against Irving. Back to Canner. At basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. And Greg was smart. When he's off the floor or injured, you notice just how it changes the team's defense. Yeah, I mean, the, the defense overall just seems to have less bite, less edge, less toughness without smart. And, and the way he plays, you feel like he is looking to make a play on defense rather than just trying to slow his man down. Uh, great at taking charges and forcing turnovers. He is truly the catalyst of their defense. Outside Tatum. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. The anticipation, the length. Tatum maximizes the opportunity on both ends. On lay, kicks to Cantor. Lee outside. And again, New York with the triple. Nice and steady so far in the second half. They're three for four. And it's Irving with the ball for the Celtics. Trailing by two. Ball movement by Boston. And again, it's Boston converting. Unless you're willing to foul him, not a lot can be done to stop Irving from hitting that shot. For New York, they've gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. Lee outside. Launches it. And again, New York with the triple. They made the most of their halftime adjustments. They're shooting 80% so far in the second half. 
Pass to Horford. Kicks to Hayward. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Can't connect from 13 feet out. All right, look, that's what they want. The ball is in his hands in the post. Just didn't have the touch that time. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Kevin, the league has unveiled a five-point plan to improve player-referee relations. Things became heated last season with a lot of star players ejected for arguing with officials. The emphasis on respect and clear standards of conduct on both sides can only help. Kevin? Very good point, David. Completely agree. Thanks. Look, we got no hesitation at all from Irving. He's looking to score as soon as he touches the rock. New York timeout, calls timeout. timeout. Austin making a switch here. Rogier's checked in. Then for the Knicks. Tim Hardaway Jr.'s checked in for Thomas. Ron Baker comes in for Lee. And Emmanuel Moutier subbed in for Frank Nilekina. And the call will be against Al Horford. That's his first foul. Here's Hardaway. Well, it's not just on the offensive end that Hayward contributes. A solid defender as well. Bonley with the rebound. Bonley's got his fourth rebound in this one. Hardaway finds Moutier. Back to Hardaway. And Bonley has it in the corner. Outside Hardaway. Good on the three-point shot. Hardaway has got 13. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. And here is Horford. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. Outside Hardaway. And it's sent back by Horford. Oh, the way Horford positions himself as the shot goes up. I mean, his defensive instincts are just absolutely fantastic. And I love the momentum he's building. Last game, he, he was just as dominant. And defensively, you know he's feeling good right now. And, and, and as the opposing team, you better adjust your scheme accordingly. Now, here's Von Lee. He's got nine. Back to Hardaway. And again, New York with the triple. I don't think they were expecting that shot. They didn't really make an effort to get out on it. Celtics trail by four. Outside Irving. Down low. Horford. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Horford's got his second bucket of the night. Well, everyone knows that Horford relishes any chance he gets down low. Moutier pass to Canner. Here's Hardaway. Back to Canner. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. And that's the shot you want to create. They just can't get it to fall. Uh, that just shows you can do everything right sometimes, but still get the wrong result. Now, here's Rogier. Five points in the game. There's Baker. He kicks it to Hardaway. Softly drops in the floater. 18 points for him. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. Irving finds Horford. To the paint. Left side, Tatum. Irving for three. No good there. And New York will come the other way. Following this one, they get to host the Pelicans. That game is the first and last of their homestand. Here's Moutier. No good with the triple. And so it's Hayward with it. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Four-point game. No good from the wing. New York's got more than a 50% success rate on their three-pointer since halftime. They're four of seven. Rogier with the steal. Here's Irving, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Oh, you gotta love how Irving slashes to the basket. So quick, so elusive, making the D hit him. He's made all five of his attempts at the line so far. 
got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And he knocks down the first one. Some changes for Boston. Aaron Baines is checked in for Horford. Daniel Tice comes in for Jason Tatum. And Marcus Morris subbed in for Gordon Hayward. And a switcher also for New York. Mario Hezonias checked in for Ron Baker. Both free throws good for Irving. The Knicks have gotten half their shots to drop in the second half up to this out, point, going 7 of 14. New York calls timeout. We have a chance now to look at the teams that have created the most points off turnovers this season. Third spot, the Celtics. You know, when you make a mistake against this team, they make you pay. I mean, because they convert those turnovers into fast break points, and that really can be demoralizing. That one wide left. Boston trailing. To the middle for the tie. And that's two points on the layup. Irving's got 11 in the second half. Love how strong Irving finishes. Awesome at fighting through the defense and sinking these shots. Moutier kicks to Hardaway. Pass to Vonley. Back to Hardaway. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Aaron Baines. That's foul number two for him. Trey Burks checked in for Emmanuel Moutier. Substitution for this. Trey Burks. Here's Hardaway. Slides through for his seventh basket in 11 tries. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Morris passes to Rozier. Pass to Tice. Lock at six. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Baines, and down it goes, jamming that one home. This is what a leader does. Irving, good at sharing the wealth and getting his teammates going. Hardaway finds Kanner. Now Burke. And Vonley has it in the corner. And a miss there on the triple. And there's the pass to Morris. That's good, and it's Rogier with the assist. Rogier's got his fourth assist in this one. New York trailing. Azonia up top, covered by Morris. Now here's Burke. Tight defense on him. And Vonley has it in the corner. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Austin's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Irving against Hardaway. 11 feet away, and there are the Celtics with another basket. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Burke kicks to Hardaway. Now, here's Vonley, guarded closely. Jacks up a three. Morris with the rebound. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Now, look, when you watch Marcus Morris, I mean, he's been around the league. He understands how to play the game. Sometimes you just need to be put in the right system. It's just timing. That happened for him last season. Vonley kicks to Hazonia. Irving against Hardaway. He feeds it to Vonley. And a fast break now for the Celtics. Here's Morris. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. To the inside. And the dunk by Vonley. Oh, 
An aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Rogier, the pass to Morris. And he uses the glass on the layup. Morris has got seven points in the game. Oh, when Morris gets it down in the paint, he's dead. They're using his big arms to get these shots up and in. Burke kicks to Hardaway. It's good. The assist that time from Burke. And you can just see his confidence is rising. Bucket after bucket from long range. And on the way from Irving for three, hits the three-point bomb. Irving's got 43 points. Look, he's driven him to this lead, and it doesn't look like he's going to ease up until the final whistle. Pass to Hardaway. Back to Canner. Shoots from eight. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. He's got 14. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Rozier kicks to Tice. Pass to Morris. Over his own yell. The Knicks pull it in. Bonley's got six rebounds in the game. Lasagna, the pass to Vonley. Hardaway dishes to Burke. 12 seconds left in the third. Passes to Canner. For the tie. Can't hit that one. Uh, he gets the shot he was looking for and he just can't bury. What a performance for Kyrie Irving. He has been the story for the Boston Celtics. Why even bring it inside when you've got him on the perimeter? After that quarter, his three-point total stands at six. And we'll be back with you shortly. And meanwhile, Coach Brad Stevens talking to his team. Talked about it in the pregame. We have to play with game awareness and poise. Run back on defense, get great shots down here every single possession. And that message you can tell, GA, all about quality and efficiency. Yeah, and when they get stops on defense, Coach Stevens wants to make sure they are taking great shots. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Rogier's out there with Smart. Then there's Horford. Then it's Tatum. And it's Morris in at the three, the small forward. That's the Boston Five. Here's Nilekina. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. Nilekina kicks to Lee. Misses the three. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Rogier, the pass to Smart. Now, here is Morris. At the elbow, Horford. Tatum wide open, he fires one. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Horford's got his third assist on the night. Knicks trail by seven. Neely Kina kicks to Hazania. Thomas surveying the D to the inside, and down it goes. Dunked through off a wonderful assist. Showing off that great vertical yet again. Nila Kina playing with power at the rim. Smart passes to Tatum. Back to Smart. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And guys on defense gasping for air at this point. Well, that's because both offenses are relentless. Each side trying to close this thing up. And that one falls for Smart. See, Webb, if there were ever a player where stats did not tell the whole story. It would be Marcus Smart. Yeah, I mean, if you look to his line every night, uh, you'd think he was just another role player. But Smart, he's a difference maker. Tough, 
physical. I mean, he makes winning plays. Bucket is good. He's been a different player since halftime. Coming on strong now. Celtics leading by six. Rozier kicks to Morris. Tatum. And slam dunk by Tatum. Though he may not explode off the floor, Tatum's length makes plays like this look easy. Here's Nilakina. Azonia up top, guarded by Tatum. Goes up on the block, and there are the Knicks with another bucket. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Smart dishes to Tatum. Kicks it to Morris. Back to Tatum. Over Hizonia. And Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. The offensive rebound. Thomas, no good. Not the tightest of D on him, uh, but not the best of finishes either. Here's Morris. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. And the Celtics lead by eight. He's made the most of the halftime break. He shook off the problems he had in the first half, and he, he started to settle in. Thomas against Tatum. Neely Kina kicks to Cantor. Five on the clock. Here's Lee. Count it. Number five from the floor this game. He's now five of 11. But how about this turnaround? He played a fringe role in the first half, and, and now he's the man for them. Now, here is Morris. Back to Smart. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Smart's got the lead up to eight now for Boston. Here's Lee. Pass to Hazania. No good that time. Good work defensively by Horford. Celtics leading by eight. Outside, smart. Pass to Rogier. Stolen away. And a fast break now for New York. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Marcus Morris. What's up? That's good from Hazania. Here's Rogier. Now the dish to Tatum. Hayward outside. Six to shoot. And Hayward at the stuff. And this is why you got to keep Hayward out of the paint. He loves to try and finish around the rim. And now, here's Hazonia, defended by Hayward. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut to just five on the basket from Hazonia. And all quarter long, he's been zeroed in and, and knocks down big shot after big shot here in the fourth. Hayward finds Horford, and it's Hazonia with the foul. That's foul number two for him. And New York making a change here. Baker's checked in. Hayward outside. Over Baker. Horford trying to free himself up. Again, the Celtics good for two. That really helps them space the floor. I mean, when Hayward's mid-game range is working, 
the defense can get scattered. Lee outside. Back to Canner. That's a basket. He is eighth from the field, eight of 14. A, a good score inside, and, and the defense really offering very little resistance. That's just an attack mindset. I love it. Game on the line. He's our competing guy. Hayward can hit. I don't care who it is. You can't leave him wide open from that range. Lee outside. Can't get the bucket from 20 feet out. Tatum kicks to Smart. Shot clock reset for the Celtics. And Cantor over to help. And Ennis Cantor picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Irving's checked in for the Celtics. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Noah Vonley, he's checked in for Baker. On defense, the Knicks trailing by five. Thomas with the ball. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Dang, that's his fourth foul. Now he's going to have to be careful. Still a little ways to go and only two fouls to spare. Now here's Von Lee. Here's Nilakina. Oh, it's such a disciplined defender. I mean, Horford with the mobility to get to the right spot and put his size to use. Tatum's shot is off. Oh, great effort there. That's how you defend the paint. Yeah, he has that capacity. He knows exactly where to position himself to protect the rim. Here's Lee. The shot, no good. Now Boston takes it the other way. Look, it hasn't happened yet, but he's got time to find his rhythm. And if he does, they can turn this thing around quick. And low percentage look on that one. Not sure what he was thinking. Well, sometimes you get a little outside of yourself. You have to be a little more disciplined. Time out, time out. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. And Courtney Lee out of Western Kentucky, a consistent 3 and D veteran. And, and, you know, more of a journeyman's career, but I'll tell you what, he's a winner. And, and competes, does those little things, and, boy, he makes some big shots. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Kyrie Irving. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. Hardaway's checked in for Lee. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, I was able to listen in on what Brad Stevens was talking about with his players. This game is close, and he told his players, hey, guys, this is when it's fun, right? This is a close game, and this is when you get to show what you're made of. Right here, right now. Kevin, we'll see how they respond. Thank you, David. The shot's good from Gordon Hayward. Just a well-designed play. Hayward with a number of options coming off the screen. Decides to take it himself. Neely Kina passes to Thomas. Off target from three-point range. Here's Tatum. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And when the Celtics traded out of the first overall pick in 2017, you know, many Greg thought they were settling for Jason Tatum for team needs. But he might be the best overall player in that draft. Listen, the Celtics said they would have been fine taking Tatum first overall, and I believe him. I mean, Tatum looks like he could be a superstar very early in his career and does everything at a high level and is already a terrific shooter from deep. Plus, he just has a poise and an air about his game that speaks of superstar. And that one falls for Tatum. Impeccable from the line since halftime. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Knicks trail by seven. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Outside Hardaway. Off target with his three. 
Austin's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Pass to Nilekina. Vonley with it. He dishes it to Thomas. To the left wing. Fader on the way. Cantor's shot is off. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over. Smart dishes to Horford. Smart kicks to Horford. Tatum passes to Irving. Shot clock at five. And stolen by Vonley. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. How about battling through the impact there and then willing that basketball in? One shot. Throw good, Vonley. Now here's Smart. He kicks to Irving. Excellent D from Cantor. Knicks trail by four. Here's Nilakina. Passes it to Hardaway. Vonley down low. Working on Horford. Thomas, no luck. And so it's Irving with it. Bringing it up for Boston. Outside Tatum. Hayward finds Horford. And here is Tatum. He's guarded by Thomas. Tatum drives in. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Well, Tatum is lanky. I mean, long. I mean, you think you got him defended. He, he ends up getting to the foul line. At the line in the Celtics. Jason Tatum. One shot. At the line, one shot. And so here is New York. Seven point differential. To the middle. Here's Cantor. And Cantor throws it down. Can't leave anyone uncovered around Neil Aquina. He is so adept at exploiting situations like that. Irving passes to Horford. The three from Tatum. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Horford's got his fifth assist in this one. Knicks trail by eight. Neil Aquina kicks to Cantor. 139 left in the game. Outside Hardaway. Just four to shoot. Here's Von Lay. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. 127 left in the fourth quarter. Now Irving. Kicks it to Smart. That one is good again. He's six for eight from the floor with the basket. I mean, he's got the size and the strength to finish amongst the big men. That's why he does it. Smart. Built to last in the paint. And the pass to Cannon. Over Horford. That one a little long. Austin's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Hayward. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. New York's gone ice cold from three-point land 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Smart against Hardaway. That's down the hatch. Knots one more to his total. That's nine for 15 shooting. And that's a perfect setup. Solid screen. Defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the buck. Up top, Tatum. Hayward outside. Hayward is double. 
and wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so here is New York. Time working against them here. It's going to be crazy hard right now to catch up. They need a quick score and a quick foul. Here's Hardaway. Rebounded by Smart. Yeah, that was a million-dollar crossover to free him up, but that finish, I'd give him 50 cents. Shooting for Boston. Marcus Smart. He'll be at the line shooting two. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. At six foot four, 220 pounds, Marcus Smart might be the most physically imposing point guard in the league, especially with his fiery approach to the game. And so both free throws are good. And it's an eight-point game. New York calls timeout. They're behind by eight. Seven seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, what's your take? Yeah, this has been rough all the way around. I mean, coming in with high hopes and then just now trying to finish the best they can. All you can do at this point is focus. Dial in on each moment. Do your best. You can't get consumed over the score. Moutier passes to Cornette. Hardaway for three. It doesn't go for him. So we see Boston get the win here. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor. Completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Kyrie. Nice win tonight. What was your thought process coming into the game? Uh, you know, I was just going out there trying to compete on every play, uh, trying to play as much defense as possible. Uh, you know, just sticking to our game plan. We had a game plan going in and we executed. Got it done at both ends of the floor, Kyrie. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.